Hey everyone, it's Jessica and welcome back to another declutter and donate video. In today's video, I will be tackling the closet that's in my guest bedroom. I just recently did a tour of that room. So if you wanna check it out, I will leave it at the top of the screen. So this closet is basically my catch-all closet. So I have a mixture of sentimental items and just kind of random things that don't have homes. They just kind of get shoved in here to be dealt with later. So here is what the closet looks like as of right now. As you can see, there's just a whole bunch of random stuff in here so basically what I'm gonna do is take everything out of the closet I'm gonna sort through everything and then at the end of the video I'm gonna show you everything that I decide to donate to the thrift stores once they are open I just recently filmed a video where I reorganized my linen closet if you haven't seen that video yet I will link it at the top of the screen So now that I have everything out of the closet, I separated it into piles. On the bed here, I have all of the sentimental items that I will not be getting rid of. And then I have everything else just kind of scattered out all over the whole room. As you can see, you couldn't even walk in here. I'm actually standing on a ladder to film all of this for you. And I'm just gonna pan around the room so you can see the extent of all of the stuff that I pulled out of this closet. I can't believe all of this actually fit in there. So a lot of this stuff just needs to be put away into other rooms. I have some holiday decor that needs to be put downstairs. I have some things that are Hannah's that need to be put away in her room. I also have some things that I'm saving for my niece that just need to be mailed out. Now that the closet is completely cleared out, I'm gonna take a minute to vacuum the floor here and I'm just using my cordless Lavoit vacuum. I actually did a review on this and I will also link it at the top of the screen. I love this vacuum. So the first thing that I wanted to organize was this rolling bin that's designed to go underneath of a bed. So inside of this bin, I had most of Hannah's preschool and kindergarten things that she had made throughout the school year. And then I had a lot of random photos and just kind of papers and all kinds of stuff in here. So I went through everything and I have a trash pile and then I have things that need to be put away. So once I organized it, I tucked it neatly underneath the bed. So I decided to hang up the two Marilyn Monroe prints that I had left over on the top part of the closet. And I also put the hanging organizer back in the closet because I knew I would use that. So before I show you what the closet looks like now, let me just remind you of what it looked like before. So here's what the closet looks like now. It did take me a couple of hours to go through everything. And here is everything that I decided to keep in the closet. So I really love that all of the floor space has been cleared off. The only thing that I have on the floor is a small step ladder in the corner over here. And then on the opposite side of the room, I have Hannah's teepee tent which I took apart and put it inside of its little carrying bag here so it wouldn't take up a lot of room. I also decided to hang my artwork up in the closet here. I have a painting that I did about five years ago. And then I also have a photograph that I took of Hannah when she was about five years old. I kind of styled it to make it look like a painting. I have that on the wall here. And then I have a couple of keepsake items on the top shelf. And then coming around to the other side, I have the two Marilyn Monroe prints on the opposite side of the wall. I have an extra salt lamp. Then I have a vintage camera box. I also have a basket with scarves inside of it. And then I have my vintage inspired radio stored over on the other side. Underneath all of that, I have my hanging storage basket and I just have some bags and some promotional boxes that I don't want to throw away stored inside of this. I also found this photo that I took of Hannah when she was a baby, and I decided to go ahead and put it up on the wall as well. Over in this corner, I have some sentimental dresses that I decided to keep. The first one is a dress that my mom wore when she was a little girl. 
The second dress that I have here is a dress that I wore when I was about five years old. My grandmother actually made this dress for me and I still have it. This next piece is actually my daughter Hannah's. She wore this when she was about five years old. My best friend actually made this out of some Thai silk that we got from Thailand. So when I was decluttering the rolling bin, I actually came across a photo that I took of Hannah wearing this dress. So I thought I would just go ahead and share the photo with you guys in case you wanted to see. And the last dress that I wanted to share with you guys is this yellow dress right here. This was my grandmother's and she wore this in the 1950s and 60s. So yeah, I have four generations of dresses in here. I thought that was kind of cool. So now I'm going to show you everything that's not going back into the closet. I did have a trash pile right here. This is just some trash and recycling that I'm going to take outside. So everything that you see here on the bed was stuff that needed to be put away into different rooms. The guitar and the keyboard are actually being saved for my niece, so the next time I see her, I'm going to give her those. So I put everything away, and everything that was left over are things that I'm going to donate to the thrift stores once they are open again. So here is everything spread out on the bed. I have a small table that I'm going to get rid of. I also have a corner shelf that I'm not using anymore, as well as a plant stand that I'm not using. And then I have a piece of luggage here in the middle that I'm also going to donate. Inside of the luggage I have some other various things that I'm getting rid of. I have a basket, a mirror, I have a bunch of frames, I have a random placemat, and I also have a wire organizer and a jewelry box in here. So since I had so much room left over in the bottom of this closet, I decided to go ahead and store all of these donations in the bottom of the closet here. I also have the donations from my linen closet over here in the corner. So once the thrift stores are open again, I'm going to take everything out of the closet and donate it all at once. So that is it for this episode of Declutter and Donate. I hope this video inspired you to go declutter something. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next.